Illinois. We're in Dallas, Texas. We're from Illinois. And we're and watching Wanderlust Estates. States. <laughs> oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Okay, guys, so I'm getting ready to go run into uh, grab a bite to eat and everything. But I'm going to do a little experiment here with that AC. I'm going to run it on solar and see how long it can run while I'm here and see if it can cool off the fan space in here. But anyways, there we are. I'm going to be running it on the Kodiak. Uh, the Kodiak has got 400 watts running into it. It's not the prime situation since these panels are in parallel, number one. And then uh, number two, the panels have a long line so the longer your line is and this is nice for setting up out you know side of the van and cooking outside on my electric grill and that's why i have this so long but it's going to reduce the actual amount of solar i'm going to get from those panels so that's the bad side then also i don't have an mppt charge controller in the kodiak they did put one in the new apex so it's more efficient at using the solar than this unit is. So I'm gonna see, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna see if we can keep it 74 degrees in this band from just the solar. There's no uh, generator hooked up or anything. And this extension cord is run over here and the AC is plugged into it. So now I'm gonna fire this inverter on, on the Kodiak. And we're going to turn on the AC over here. Go ahead and take a screenshot here real quick of the temp right now. And close the door and see where we are when I get back and how it feels. It's pretty hot in there actually right now. Oh, I got to turn off the fan. There, now the fan's off. And I'm out says right now that we're running at only 86 there okay let's go get something to eat real quick see how that feels when I get back and then uh, see how long it'll keep me cool with just 400 watts I'm I'm thinking if the my math is right as long as the compressor doesn't have to kick on more than about 50 to 60 percent of the time as far as loading the compressor on that it should be able to run that ac right now so you know just the solar so we'll find out all right, let's go check on the temperature in here. You gotta remember, this van's not even insulated, and that's only a 5,000 BTU unit, so we'll see how she cooled her off or if she did, and uh, how well she's doing running on that Kodiak right now. It's kind of been hectic, though, uh, kind of doing a build and staying in the van at the same time, but, you know, getting her done, getting her done. No Jenny. AC rocking and rolling. Let's feel what it feels like. It's getting hot already. Oh, <laughs> it's nice in here right now. I was about to start sweating out there. Oh, that's nice. Real nice. 74. Wonder if I turn it down a little bit more, if I can run around while I'm driving like this, you know? I don't have AC in the van. I gotta replace it. And this is doing pretty good when that's hot enough to burn. Ow. So there's plenty. It's a little better here where the solar panels cover though. But 
that that's really hot man look at that puddle it's already producing she's pretty much producing a steady stream of water now You sure can tell it's humid here in Texas. Good morning, guys. So it's a little after six now. Got to get up and get a shower in and put the generator back. Still feeling a little sleepy. <laughs> To run the AC at night here in hot, hot Texas, I got it set up with a bicycle lock into the uh, generator here, and then, and then I got an eccentric cord running into the uh, van here, and it's been pretty nice sleeping like that. One gallon of fuel gets me all night long, and I can get some charge on my batteries. This parking lot that I'm in is the Planet Fitness parking lot. And so that went really well. Nobody bothered me. Nobody even seemed to notice me. And now I'm headed off to go and help out my buddy that's been helping me with the van build, get his garage squared away. And I'll probably be doing a little bit more DoorDash. I'm trying to also get up on the schedule for that so I can get a good weeks of earnings in so that I can head off to Colorado. So I went ahead and spray painted those plates that were in there white to match the rest of the van and I'm trying to think if I should spray paint these chains I think I'm going to actually and then uh, each each one of these plates got better I definitely wish I would have taken the extra time even though I was in a hurry go ahead and paint those before I even put them up or at least put a primer on them probably paint them actually and then put them up like gone ahead and pre-drilled all the holes and then uh, painted them and let it sit there and dry and work on something else until they were dry enough that I could put the plates up it would have made it a lot cleaner okay folks so I got it all tightened in now with my strap my water systems all good and to go been doing a lot of stuff today uh, tighten this back up this little toggle switch for my water Pretty soon I can start finishing up the organization of everything so that this is a real comfortable place to be living Shower it up and ready to door dash. Let's see here. Um, seven minutes early. All right, now it's time to dash. Do, 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 do. Ready to rock. Let's go over to our hot spots since I don't know any places yet. Okay, so we got our first order, which is $7 over here at the chick-fil-a they're usually pretty fast so i should be in and out of here they'd be absolutely perfect if they uh already had the food done but once you get there that's when they start but they they are pretty quick got a couple of pretty buildings up here on my way on this first dash these look like they could be like victorian era courthouse must be in the center there. Uh, these are, some of these are Art Deco. So it's like a mix of Victorian and Art Deco Use down here. Well, today's DoorDash was out in Weatherford. Uh, a friend of mine named Beth grew up out here and she had been wondering how it was i this was a pretty disappointing dash this is the lowest paying one i've had since i was in houston 
overall for the 2.4 hours that I was out here, about 24 bucks. So that probably after the mileage is, puts me at minimum wage in Texas, which is 7.25 an hour. Not, not good at all. But the, the big reason on that is DoorDash just was not putting up the uh, delivery pay. I made more in tips running these three deliveries I just did and then only having three deliveries deliveries in almost two and a half hours is pretty poor too so I mean it's not busy either I can tell because everything's gray when I signed out I didn't even finish my my uh, dash scheduled dash because it was so so bad I mean it'll probably be better for lunch but too many miles they want you to drive too many miles and the miles isn't terrible it's a dollar a mile to the location but the problem is is that there's so few orders that you end up getting routed all the way back and it's a long it's a long haul you know uh most of these like they you know i average about eight dollars an order and you know they were six to eight miles almost nine miles it was six you know 6.9 was one of them 8.8 .8 was another and uh the other one was shorter but when you have to route all the way back that's a problem so not gonna not gonna ever not gonna ever do this again get out there connect with people live your big story and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck peace guys